Oh wait. Uh, hey guys, and today I'm gonna be watching the death battle between uh, Phoenix, Phoenix, aka uh, Jean Grey, versus uh, Raven, uh, aka Rachel Roth. So, so back then, like I know, like back then, like in season five, they said like <coughs> they said they went with the uh, Raven versus Twilight Sparkle, like instead of this, because they like originally said that it was gonna be like. Uh, a stop for Gene, but it, I think it's more closer now. But I feel like either, the, either these two are like gonna be like fail to be equal. But I feel like <coughs> with the Phoenix forces, like insane scaling, I think that Gene is going to win. But we'll see. Even though I want Raven to win, though, I love Teen Titans. This episode is sponsored by Better. Okay, maybe I should raise them. Okay, let's try. Let's try now. Help. What? Wait. I'm sorry, I'm just raised the raise the volume I should have. Alright, you know what? There. Let's try now. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Wait, nope. I'm sorry this is taking too long. I'm just trying to adjust the volume, but Just pause this first. Alright, let's try now. Jean Grey, the marvelous phoenix of the X-Men. Yep. Raven, the Azeranthian demon witch of the Teen Titans. Mm -hmm. If absolute power corrupts absolutely in our quest to contain the beast within, we may well be consumed by... Third battle time! Oh my god. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And, and it's, it's our, our job, job to analyze their weapons, weapons armor, and skills, skills to find out who would win, win a death, death battle. battle. Alright, first up is... Jean. In Greek mythology, the majestic phoenix bursts into flames upon its death, Firebird. then rises <laughs> from its own ashes. It's a symbol of nature, rebirth, yeah. the dawning and setting of the sun, the beginning before, and end but I don't know of if they're life. Really the cycle, oh, poor Jean. Sorry, can tell me. Grey was thrown into way too young when her best friend was struck by a... Don't you buffer on me. Friend was struck by a car right in front of her. Just like a mm. phoenix, the trauma of Annie's death was the start of something oh, that's new. Her friend Annie. Her mutant power of Annie, telepathy. are you okay? In Annie's fleeting moments, oh, Jean stop. bonded with her mind. Michael Jackson and they experienced her death oh, together. By the way, Jean was 10. Enter Professor mm -hmm. Charles Xavier. Professor who X. helped Jean through her trauma. Mm -hmm. And was also a telepath. He taught Jean how to control her ex Jean, Jean and, and she used her powers to find Marvel other troubled mutant mm -hmm. kids around the country. Thus the no first iteration of these yep. marvelous mutants 
Superheroes was born. The X-Men. Cyclops, Iceman, yep. Beast, Beast, Angel, Angel, and of course, Marvel Girl. Mar yeah. we, we can workshop that name. Jean's mm -hmm. potential as a telepath was oh, she's not the only so one. far beyond Xavier's, in fact, that he installed psionic blocks in her mind to limit her full power. At least until she was mature enough to wield it safely. She can read mm -hmm. and control thoughts, communicate telepathically, rewrite and erase memories, manipulate <laughs> each one of your senses, <laughs> and project her mind Nine into the astral plane. Jean is also an expert telekinetic, capable of forming energy barriers, deconstructing mm -hmm. giant machines, yeah. and even halting the blood flow to your brain. But there's Doesn't that <laughs> feel like the guy with big hands who can climb good is a little out of place. But Jean's life would change forever again on mm -hmm. one fateful mission trapped piloting a ship through a solar storm the marvel girl came into contact with an incredible energy it mm. merged with her greatly enhancing her power but there was a catch yeah. this thing wasn't just a power boost it was a giant space bird yep. More like a cosmic being which is the embodiment of the big bang destined to consume all of existence at the end of time this uh -huh. is the phoenix, phoenix force, force. Well, merging with the fire chicken didn't turn out so fire great, chicken. cause all it wanted to do was blow shit up. Yep. Hey, why don't I get a Phoenix Force? That sounds awesome. The Phoenix Force desires mm -hmm. destruction. Its fire will one day consume all of existence. That's its purpose. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. this need for annihilation would prove too much for Jean, manipulating yeah. and corrupting her until a Basically, thoughtless yeah. moment where she obliterated an entire civilized planet. Oh my Millions God. of lives simply erased. This <laughs> was the dawn of the dark, dark phoenix. phoenix yeah yep. when jean figured out what happened she was not okay no matter nope. how hard she tried to kill the phoenix's influence it would always rise back up good mm -hmm. because it's a phoenix and so rather yeah. than allow this absolute power to consume her jean heroically sacrificed herself yeah basically that's what the happened, threat yeah. yeah what a beautiful dark tragic phoenix. story about the corrupting influence of power on the human so spirit i guess that's how cable uh, not really it turns out that wasn't actually jean the mm -hmm. phoenix was just kind of pretending to be her she came back later oh and okay, she was. merged with the phoenix again well that's uh. stupid but hey absolute power may corrupt absolutely but it also absolutely owns as the phoenix mm -hmm. gene can channel vast amounts of cosmic phoenix energy force. absorb Mortality, power from others manipulate control, matter down to the subatomic level and even scorch your soul with psionic flames mm -hmm. flames that take the shape of the phoenix itself Grow to the Ooh. size of a universe and burn hotter than a supernova. Oh the my Phoenix can basically do anything. Stop time, open portals, see the future, oh raise the dead, mm. and create pocket realities just for fun. She can fly at mm. massively faster than light speeds mm. and wage mental battles across infinite distances in okay. seconds. El Pollo <laughs> Loco even boosted Jean's natural mutant abilities to the max. She's yeah. physically strong enough to fight the thing, and she's a stronger telepath than Moon Dragon was with the Mind Gem. You know, Ooh. the Infinity Gauntlet Blade yeah, that controls yep. all minds in the universe? Mm -hmm. And should Jean fall, the Phoenix can always resurrect her. So long as her soul remains intact, it will reform Without her body no matter how many times it's destroyed. Which is good since she's died Ooh, literally yeah. 15 times. As of this recording, at least, she probably died again in 2024. As of July 26th, sometime after this recording took place, Jean Grey has died a 16th time. <laughs> Comics are fucking crazy. Literally. <laughs> but hey, when Jean's not around, the Phoenix has uh, jumped into God. other people. Rachel Gray, Hope Summers, Fire Hair, mm -hmm. it's got a thing for redheads. Oh, do you think it was yeah, a bad idea to have Jocelyn study it? I demand Oh, damn. Rain. Nah, she's fine. Well, even with plenty of hosts to choose from, the Phoenix would often end up back with Jean. Like a yeah. clingy, codependent ex. While Jean might be... Don't, don't you fucking He's stuck in a kind okay. of love Ouroboros with Scott, Logan, Emma, basically everyone. Her true bestie is the Phoenix. Because yep. according to the Phoenix Force, she is its perfect vessel. The mm -hmm. Phoenix is powerful enough to stalemate Galactus, Galactus. and defeat the oh. being Necrom, who was oh going to God. collapse the multiverse into a singularity. With Old Man Logan oh. as its host, the Phoenix saved the entire oh Omniverse from destruction. Oh my yeah, basically, the embodiment of the previous multiverse got mad and tried to flood reality with his evil juices. So, Old Man Phoenix held back a tsunami Old that would have erased <laughs> all of Marvel Comics. Let's move on. 
Even yeah. after multiple possessions, Jean was uh, never Mama quite free from spell. the influence of the dark fear yeah, I just had to and the threat of its ultimate destruction. Ow! But Jean's like the nicest and most in the hot, person white, hot room. ever, so she yeah. eventually sort of got through to the Phoenix Force. And with her combined power emotionally stabilized, Jean reached her ultimate state of being. The White Phoenix oh, white of the Phoenix. Crown. Oh, Sounds goodness. like a Dark Souls boss and just as bullshit. White Phoenix is a perfect <laughs> merging Souls. of Jean and the Phoenix Force, allowing her to control time and space and oh. hold friggin' universes in her hand. And giving her dominion over the White Hot Room, the highest plane of existence and the center of the Phoenix's oh. power. Beyond the far shore of reality, it is a dimension the Phoenix has complete control over and even oh gets stronger God. while in it. But Phoenix could never get out of that let's kill everyone mindset. So Gene finally confronted it and dumped his ass. Yeah, she dumped a cosmic god of destruction. You go, girl. Time to take back the good yeah. old days of Wait, they're calling her Marvel Girl again? Oh, Roll it back. God. But like a phoenix, the two will inevitably rise again and reunite, mm -hmm. refresh, yes. and renew with a passion that can melt stars and set our souls aflame. Uh. This episode is sponsored by... Yeah, I'm watching uh, uh, Raven's uh, part after this, so... See you in the next part.